Uh, my name is Andrew Hahn. I'm a part of Team Hero uh, DISC and also newly member of Purina Pro Plan Performance Team, uh, traveling team. Um, my proudest moment so far in our career with, with my career with Solar would probably be last year. Uh, we finished third in the Purina Incredible Dog Challenge National Finals in Flying Disc. We also placed fourth at the Skyhounds World Championships in DA, and we also placed second in uh, the UFO World Championship, not only in overall, but also in toss and catch. Well, in, in high school, I played a lot of ultimate, and um, I, I was just searching on YouTube for just some frisbee type videos, and I don't remember who it was, but I just saw, I think it was a video of multiple disc doggers, and I saw people playing frisbee with dogs, and I thought, oh, that was really cool. I really like dogs. I really like playing w with discs. Maybe I can do that too. But of course, I was in high school. My parents didn't like animals, so I had to wait. Um, got my first dog, and he had zero interest. So I started in dog agility, actually. I was, I was still very interested in all dog sports. Um, and then fast forward 2008, and I adopted Solar, who's uh, now a seven-year-old Australian Shepherd. Um, we started doing DISC in 2009, just, just for fun. I was really into agility. I wanted to keep going with it. And next thing I know, it has taken over my life. I've got five dogs now. Um, four of them play DISC, and I bought them their own vehicle to travel in for competitions, and now we do shows here and there. Um, and it's just kind of taken over my life. And through disc dogging, I now play disc golf. So I've become a huge fan of anything disc related. Um, I've learned a lot of different other games that you can play with a disc. I haven't tried them all, but I don't really have time to do a million hobbies. <laughs> I've only got so much time in a day and so much money in the pocket. But uh, this dogging has really, it's, it's been great. I can, it's allowed me to travel to all these different places. Um, love being able to go to Colorado at least once a year for a competition just because it's beautiful out there. Uh, currently we're in Texas and this is my first time in Texas. A couple years ago I went to Vermont for a competition, played disc golf and then did some disc dogging for a competition out there. And, it's just great to be able to travel with your dog and meet some great people and along the way and have fun and try to do our best. I would definitely like to win a world championship soon. I mean, not soon, but I mean, yeah, why not? I would like to win this year. I mean, I wanted to win last year. It didn't work out. It happens, but I wanted to, I'll try again this year. Um, you know, my focus has always been on Solar because he's always been the main disc dog that I have. Uh, Luca, my cattle dog, is a 50-50 kind of dog. Sometimes he plays, sometimes he doesn't. So I've never actually competed with him. Uh, that might change this year because he's starting to show a little bit more drive and focus. Uh, last year, I adopted two Border Collies, Sai and Slinky. And Sai is looking, Sai has been looking really good. So my focus will probably shift more on her um, I'll still be competing with Solar, but again, he's seven going on eight, and I'm not going to stress too much if, you know, he, he doesn't score as well in freestyle because he moves a little slower or doesn't jump as high. I mean, I, I, he's worked his butt off for me in the past five years, so I'm not worried about him. So the pressure's off of him now, and it's now on side is what I'm saying, I guess. But she is, she's a completely different dog than what people have normally seen with me and Solar. Our style is completely different. Uh, she is a big outrunning border collie, very typical, but she's got, she can get some big air, you know. I, I've always tried to do vaults as low as possible just to keep the dog safe. And with her, if I try to force her to jump lower, she'll, she'll come down head first. And so I've had to really force myself to throw it just as high as I can for her, nat her natural vault. You know, I won't, if I'm sure if I threw it 10 feet in the air, she'll jump off my body for a disc 10 feet in the air, but I'm gonna vault her where I can comfortably and safely. And she's a big vaulting 
big leaping border collie, and I think she's gonna she's gonna rock the field this year. So I'm really looking forward to playing with that with her. Um, looking forward to doing shows this year, and you know, kind of turn this hobby and pay for some of the travel is mainly kind of why I'm doing it. Um, and shows are fun, you know, I get to entertain people and all my dogs get to win and place first because there's no one else there <laughs> to compete with. So that's, uh, it'll be a nice break. I'll, the one thing about shows that I will miss is just having the camaraderie of everyone there and uh, friendship, but that's what competitions are still for and uh, still be doing that, so. The best thing I can say is don't force your dog to do something. Uh, as, you know, some dogs don't want to do a certain move and it actually makes it a lot more dangerous. You know, I've always wanted to do a reverse chest fault with Solar and every time he does it, he always lands very badly and I've never forced him and it hasn't hurt us since. I mean, everyone is doing a reverse chest fault. It's a great move, don't get me wrong, but he just won't do it. So play to your dog's abilities and showcase their ability on the field and yours. Um, and. Just have fun, have fun.